So here we are in Comic Universe in Carlo. I'm joined by Chris Broders, the owner of the store. Chris, how are you doing? Not so bad, Eugene. How are you? What made you open the shop? Well, I suppose it would be from my love of comics and so on. Uh, superheroes and everything. I mean, that's really where this kind of idea might have started. Probably when I was a kid, right. <laughs> really. Right. I just kind of was thinking, well, wouldn't it be great to like have just access to the, all the comics in the world. That would be excellent. Right. Now obviously that's like nigh on impossible. But opening your own comic book store gets pretty close to that. And the name, Comic Universe, how did you arrive at the name? Well, we wanted to kind of make sure that we weren't focusing so much on maybe something from one of the publishers. Right. Um, so really, Comic Universe, it kind of gives you the idea that it's about comics. Yeah. And uh, the universe gives you the other idea that it incorporates everything. everything. I see a coffee dock there, is that just for show or are you really selling coffee? No, it's not for show, <laughs> it'd be brilliant, yeah. What we do is we sell teas and coffees, um, because we've, we've created a seating area here um, which is all about retro comfy furniture. They want to relax in the environment that we have right. here, then they can avail of that. But also, I mean, we do combos with the comics and coffees and so on. Is there anything in here for the older generation? It's for everyone, and that's really what we're really trying to focus on here. Um, I mean, we have comics for as small as they get to as old as they get. That's that's the point of this place. What we have actually, we place out a lot of old comics. And um, they're called the Judies and the Bunties and the Mandies. Yeah. Now they are for parents when they come in and their kids want to go through all the newer issues or so on and look for something they want that a parent can relax. Again, sit down, relax, maybe have a coffee or just read through one of their comics that remind them of their childhood. We have a couple from the 70s, a couple from the 80s. Uh, we have a lot of older comics that um, Maybe some people prefer the older comics, so they're for sale also. The oldest one at the minute would really be our Batman comic, from the, when it was still known as the Detective Comics. I see a lot of props in the window. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we have a, yeah, a seven-foot statue of Jar Jar Binks. I mean, either love him or you hate him. Yeah. But the one thing he does is he'll definitely catch your eye, and he's a conversation starter. So Chris, if there's something that a customer wants that's hard to find, can you source it for them? Well, we'll certainly do our best, Eugene. That's really what we want to do. Um, now, obviously, sometimes you might come across something that is impossible to get. But what I always say to someone is if they're looking for something and they're finding it hard to get, come in and talk to us and we will definitely do our best to get it for them. Right, so that's another personal thing. service. Exactly. That's what we want to do. We want to kind of be there for the community. Is there anything else then that you'd like your customers to know before we go? Well, I just want everyone to know that, like, we, yes, we are a comic book store and so on, and we serve tea and coffees and all like that. But we want to create a store where everyone can feel comfortable and relaxed and just chill out. Or you get your comic and you sit down and you can read it here. I mean, really, that's what it is. We really want to be here for everyone and create like a kind of a community. Do you mean for everyone that's into comics or someone that even is just wanting to get into comics? Chris, do you have a website or contact details? Yeah, um, you can email us uh, on at comicuniversecarlo at gmail.com. Right now, uh, we have a Facebook page, it's Comic Universe Carlo. They're the best ways to get through to us. Um, especially if you're looking to order something, the email is the best way to do it. Opening hours? Opening hours are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is 10 to 5. Thursdays and Fridays is 10 to 6. And then Saturday is 10 to 5. And closed on Sunday. Closed on Sundays, yes. I do need one day. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> I'm not a machine, so that's the one way we have to go. Very good. Thanks, Chris. No worries.